Welcome back to Panoi Crossover. Your boy PJ still here, Mikey Mark still here, but we got our guests, honorable Filipinos, onto the show tonight. Introduce yourselves. Thank you for having us. I'm Kayla. I'm Danielle. I'm CJ. And we're from Box, Box Out, Out Brand. Brand. Oh, that was so oh. like insane. <laughs> you got to like... do it. You want to do it? Yeah. My name's PJ. My name's Marky Mark. And, and like, we are Panoi Crossover. <laughs> 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 All right, you guys are joining us because you are involved in the basketball community. So just talk talk about your brand with us. What is Box Out Brand? Okay, so Box Out Brand, uh, I created it myself. I'm the founder. Um, about a year and a half ago, basically, the brand itself is a female-focused basketball organization within the GTA. So essentially what it is is uh, we encompass basketball events, tournaments, um, and exposure for the female audience, female ballers, whether it's youth, whether it's um, young female adults. Um, we kind of just want to touch on everything and just kind of give the girls kind of a voice within the GTA, give them exposure, um, and just let everybody know in the GTA and the basketball industry that it's not about the guys. <laughs> That's true. It's not about, I've I seen, no, no we've had CJ, who's yeah. a really, yeah. um, you probably know CJ, CJ right? yeah. she was a yeah. shout out to CJ, Humber <laughs> legend. The leading scorer, legend now, I guess. Leading scorer, oh, yeah. but but listen, thank, uh, talk about how did you guys get involved, or how did you come together as this box of brand? There's three of you. How did you know you come together and sh and start putting out these events? Um, so like I said, I, I'm the founder. So I started about a year and a half ago. I was mm -hmm. running um, all these events, these annual events, uh, by myself. Pretty much, it became too much for one person. Um, I obviously was looking for more female ballers to play in our tournaments, and I came across CJ over here, um, and it kind of just worked out. We met up, we, um, she played in one of the events, and it, mm. it kind of just fell into place. They were, mm. And they had the same vision, they loved the sport, and like I said, we're all females just trying to make a difference and an impact. Mm. What's what's your back? What's each of your background in I guess basketball? Like where did you guys play? Do you guys coach? What's your uh, relation to basketball? Um, so I'll start that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't play. I mean, sorry, I play. I don't mm -hmm. coach. Um, I started playing when I was about four years old. My brother got me into it. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I just kind of play all through my high school and uh, school career and just in general. Mm -hmm. What um, school did you go? You I at? I didn't play on the like, okay. Anya rec. Sorry, what is it called? Varsity. Varsity, that's what it is. Sorry, I didn't play any varsity. I yeah. played uh, intramurals more so. Mm -hmm. But then at Humber College, I ended up tearing my ACL, so I kind of just oh, no. stopped playing sports in yeah. general. Just kind of, like she said, kind of just work towards helping girls out and get themselves yeah. shown and all that. Mm -hmm. uh, Danielle? Um, it's a long time, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick, guys, getting over the flu. Um, I pretty much played my whole life. I have two older brothers, so I kind of sports were kind of embedded into my life. Played everywhere. Played uh, for the Brampton Blue Devils. Shout out to Brampton. <laughs> <laughs> um, played in MPAA. Played in um, CCYA. Um, played a little bit at Brock for a year. So just kind of everything. And then after school ended, um, had to get a real job. And I kind of wanted to start something myself. And that's kind of how Box Up Brand came to life. Mm -hmm. Adulting, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah, Adulting. pretty much. <laughs> it gets We're old now. Yeah, for real. yeah no. in regards to me, like, sports has always been a big thing in my life since I was a little kid. Yeah. Um, I played through elementary school, high school, I played a little bit of varsity, and then I ruptured my Achilles. Oh, no. um, so from then I was more wreck and everything. In terms of Danielle, she literally just hit me up one day, <laughs> like she DM'd me, and I was just like, I'm that girl. Who, who is this girl? This girl looks familiar. <laughs> and um, she wanted me to play, I was injured at the time, and I was like, no nah, man, like I'll come by and support though. Mm -hmm. And then there was just one day, I, I do graphic design as mm -hmm. a living um, from Seneca. <laughs> and I just hit her up and I'm like, hey, do you need help with anything? And from then on, it just kind of flowed out. We had the same vision. And so I asked my best friend, Kale, over here. I was like, hey, you down? And it's, it just happened. Yeah. It just happened, yeah. Oh, so yeah, like I was about to ask, thing. like, how did you guys all meet? It kind of came yeah. together. Me and her have been friends yeah. for good, like 15 years. 15 years I met oh. Danielle through CJ. Yeah, we used to actually coaching. We didn't coach. We're not like certified coaches, but we used help to coach yeah. um, like in high school and whatnot, right, mm -hmm. with other girls teams. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then she kind of just asked us to hop along. I was like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> How did uh, basketball start for you guys? What was your inspiration to get into the game or to get into just like, you know, watching it or playing it? Honestly, it's me for me seeing my brother and sister play the, play the sport, mm -hmm. kind of being the youngest one. I'm like, oh, I want to do that, you know? And mm -hmm. I want to be part of the group mm -hmm. kind of thing. I was a girly girl growing <laughs> up. Like I said, I have two older brother, brothers, but 
luckily I was the athletic one in my family. Wow. <laughs> so my brothers kind of were living their dream through me. So, yeah. Yeah. so they're training you and everything. Pretty yeah. much, yeah. yeah. As myself, I'm one of the, I'm the oldest, me and my sister, but yeah. like for my cousins and everything, we're one of the youngest. So yeah. I was just like, man, I want to do that. I want to be like MJ, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, like like you're CJ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Right, let's talk about, you brought some merch over here. I don't know if you can see the logo. We got the, the sign over here. So talk about this upcoming event and um, I, I guess your, your planning and what, what can people expect? Okay, so I guess I'll touch a little bit yeah. upon it. So we have basically two programs. So like I said, we want to touch not only on the youth, but at the adults as well. Mm -hmm. um, we, we noticed that a lot of girls, once you don't play post-secondary or hit a certain age, there's not that much like open runs for females no. to join and things like that. Yeah. So we have two programs. Uh, we have an adult co-ed league, or their tournaments right now, eventually it's going to be the biggest league in the GTA. Yes. Watch out, guys. Um, so we have a co-ed league, and then as well we have a youth program. So um, our upcoming event, is on March 11th, Sunday, March 11th at Crestwood Preparatory College um, in Toronto. So it's going to be two events. So essentially we have a We Unite co-ed basketball tournament. It's going to be the second annual tournament that we're doing. Um, so that's for adults. And then as well, we have a special event collaboration for our youth. Um, it's going to be with Kayla Alexander. She is mm -hmm. a, a sixth year veteran center for the WNBA. Um, wow. She plays on the Indiana Fever. So she's going to come out. You guys, uh, if you guys know any girls who are looking or interested in playing ball or pl play currently and want to meet a pro baller and hearing her story, yeah. she's going to be here running drills and skills with you guys. And it's going to be a crazy event. So mm -hmm. come check it out. So that event with um, the WNBA player, is that yeah. youth geared? So that's like yeah. for youth? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So all the, okay, so we have, yeah. some, we have some youth that some youth might be interested yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Ballers, I mean, if you want to come meet her too, why not? Yeah, yeah. Support is always best. Support. She probably, yeah. block. how tall is she? She's tall. She's like six, she's tall. four. She's, yeah. Wow. Yeah, for a female, she's pretty so, up there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> WNBA. Yeah. 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 She's a professional. She's a professional. Yeah, yeah. yeah. WNBA. It's a great opportunity for girls to promote yeah. meet her. Yeah. Well, is there so? Is there? Is there's a charity involved with this, or is there? What's the? I know last time when you hosted an event, there was like funds toward a charity. Is there something like this for? Uh, or is Box Out brand a charity in itself, or is that a fundraiser? You can touch on that. Okay. Yeah. Um, so Vox of Rent isn't a non-for-profit organization. Yeah. However, we do for special events or special holidays, like we did um, for Christmas, we had a charity event, an all-star charity event, and we kind of teamed up with Make-A-Wish Foundation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So certain events we kind of want to gear towards giving back. Um, but like I said, it's a work in progress. You know, yeah. we're still just trying to build it and uh, create more awareness. And yeah, just... I think one thing about Vox of Rent, mm -hmm coming from us where we've grown up, we kind of want to make others' dreams come true as well as our dreams come true yeah. by giving them the opportunity. Mm -hmm. So that's the vision, that's the, you want you want others, female ballers, dreams to come true with the resources. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We're essentially their resource, whether mm -hmm. it's um, giving them exposure, giving them more opportunities to play, or essentially um, even, like I guess, if we're going to focus on youth, uh, just asking them why they're playing. Yeah. You know, there's so many opportunities mm -hmm. that you can get out of basketball, whether it's character building, um, traveling, free education, there's so mm -hmm. many different components mm -hmm. that, you know, I wish when I was 12 years old and playing, Definitely. someone shed some light on that for me, yeah. so. Definitely. Yeah, just because nowadays more things that you see are like, they, they revolve around the male aspect of basketball, like, I know the OBA does have a couple girls teams, yeah. but then you get Mega City, that's mm -hmm. strictly men's, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. And then you have BWT, but that's like, it's kind of more rec than it is yeah. competitive. Mm -hmm. yeah. So do you, you want, do you want to, to have that two streams, like a, the competitive and the <coughs> vision as well? You said uh, you want it to be the biggest Definitely. Touch upon that. The big yeah. <laughs> she wants to be the biggest. <laughs> sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry. Touch upon like that vision of you want to be the biggest league or uh, co-ed league out there. So just um, yeah. our whole thing is we just want to touch upon different um, areas on basketball and in Toronto that a lot of people don't usually you know touch upon mm -hmm. or focus on. So for us, it's it'd be youth, youth girls, females mm -hmm. in general, and then just adult co-ed. You know, mm -hmm. there's. 
you know, I, I know there's a lot of volleyball, co-ed, soccer co-ed, but there's not too much basketball co-ed. Mm -hmm. And you guys know basketball is booming in the GTA yeah. now with yeah. all yeah. these Canadian... The rap is um, playing well. There you Definitely. go. So it's like just focusing on that. And, you know, once you hit a certain age, you know, I know people that want to play with their significant other yeah. and, you know, want to find more opportunities. So that's pretty much what it is. We're trying to be the biggest competitive, I think, competitively. There are a lot of rec leagues out there that are just strictly rec, but then you have that one girl who's like ready for the WNBA, but she doesn't have that opportunity to get there, right? Mm -hmm. Well, since we're coming to a landing here, I want to ask you guys, you know, to all the female ballers out there or young, uh, any, any age, what are your advice or what are the things that you guys want to say to them to address the audience in terms of any female ballers? Honestly, stick to your dream. Don't let anyone talk you down from it. Uh, do the best you can, because there's nowhere from up if you stick to that dream kind yeah. of thing. Well said. Well, thank you. Yeah, nice. <laughs> what would be your advice? What would be something that you guys want to say? Oh, she kind of took the words right out of my mouth. Um, Just like, don't let uh, I don't want to sound down. corny, but jump as high as you can yeah. and never stop. So it is reach, reach for the sky if yeah. you can. Danielle, end it off. What would end you say? With end end off, off with a cough. <laughs> 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 what, what would you say to? What would you say to? I would him? just say it like. You know, no matter, depending on how old you are, if you're 12, you're 16, just think about why you're playing. Are Definitely. you playing because you're really good at it, because your parents told you to play? Like, what do you want to get out of the sport, no matter what it is? Because there's so many yeah. things, like I said before, that you can get out of it, not just about playing ball. If you want to go pro, if you want to go to school, um, if you want to travel, there's so many different opportunities for you out there. So. Definitely. All right.